excellent time. Ooh, how do I look? Okay. Good day, everyone, and welcome to Adventures with Parker. It is another beautiful day here at Percy Park. We're here at the start of the last coaster trip of this summer. And yeah, <laughs> this is my second time being here at Hershey Park this year. And I am so excited to be back. Of course, because it is one of my favorite parks out there. I am so excited to ride Wildcats Revenge again. And of course, I'm sharing the day and this trip with Tyler Burke. Sky Rush! And Mitch is here too. He's on ahead. We'll show him in a bit. I'm more of a Cadbury girl myself. But yeah, without any further ado, let the Hershey Park adventures begin. Hell yeah! <laughs> We are no longer in Hershey. We are in Living with the Land from Epcot. It's a line. Do you have Fast Pass? Do you guys have Fast Pass? Uh, it's actually called Lightning Lane. Genie Plus. Genie Plus this? It's Hershey Plus. Hey everyone, oh. welcome aboard the Hershey's Chocolate Factory Tour. We are on our way to the Hershey Chocolate Factory. Your guide will meet you at the entrance. Oh. Bombastic side eye. Oh, side eye. Flavor. This is more intense than that. That's a bad, right? Oh, okay, good. Oh, yeah. I don't want to go ahead and use here. The roasting tunnel. Ooh, Mitch, you're such a mean Roast. character. <laughs> <laughs> Roasted. Roast. Cocoa mints have been ground down like this for thousands of years. Milling machines generate lots of heat through intense pressure and friction. The grinding turns cocoa nibs into the smooth, dark liquid used to make milk and dark chocolate. Part of my job is to make sure all of that milk meets our high-quality standards. Once it passes testing, we mix sugar into the milk using large batching tanks. As the mixture cooks, it begins to form some delicious little pieces that we call chocolate crumbs. Little sugar and cacao Just by adding milk The coaching process mixes and heats the chocolate Developing the rich flavor and color Heavy rollers smooth out the refined crumb Until it reaches the silky liquid texture No, she went to Queens and was in Oh yeah All of that fresh, delicious Hershey's chocolate goodness Is finally ready to be packaged Love Hershey's Rock Chocolate and Special Dog Parks. Hey, don't forget about Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. My Hershey's favorite. Everyone has a favorite. Mine are Hershey's Kisses Chocolate. Yay, Hershey's Chocolate! Yay. 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 I'm more of a Cadbury girl myself. But... Oh! Blasphemy. That is my Blasphemy. Blasphemy. I'm always so intrigued by these bath and body sets. It's like, yeah, I want to smell like chocolate all day. I need to smell like chocolate every day. Yeah. It, it would be so good. It would smell so good. Irresistible. Yeah. Looks like they have plant-based Reese's, and of course the uh, vegan in the group is very happy about that. They don't have these in Canada. Dropping everything. <laughs> I just, I just 
grab them and uh, I have no I have no budget at all. <laughs> I don't have a budget. Stock up all you can. We're we're gonna see it all full of his bag full of candy. Yup. And we're gonna steal them. We're not gonna notice. First ride of the day, we are doing the best ride in the park, Coco Cruiser. This is my most spending credit on the trip. This is my new number one. Okay, so we just survived the Coco Cruiser, the most intense and most wild ride in this entire park. That is my new number one. That slaps over X2, still vengeance. I feel Who? Alive. I couldn't ride, it was so scary. I had to like save the oh my gosh. Yeah, I just had to sit out. Yeah, it was my new number one all time. Like, wow, it's amazing. I'm gonna verify that all day. We are back to ride my all-time favorite coaster as of this moment. Wildcats Revenge, the new for 2023 RMC. We love to see it. And this is Mitch and Burke's first time riding. Burke, are you excited? I'm very excited. I can't wait to ride. I'm having so many good things. <laughs> oh, look at that beautiful RMC track. And yes, they're blasting Taylor Swift. They knew I was coming. Mind you, last time I was at this park, they played Beautiful Ghost. So. Whoever is in charge of the playlist at Hershey Park is a Swifty. You guys got to experience Vodka's Revenge for the first Holy time. Holy shit, that was such a good RMC. Right? That, the, the air, there's so much airtime moments. That three, that three section was surprising getting you airtime moments. When you're going down the first drop, that you get to come in some sick Jerry airtime. The barrel doesn't get some much hang time moments. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's the top four RMC for me. Oh, but absolutely. I need some more rides. That was fair so enough, fair good. enough. I was gonna say it's running a little slow, but I, it's like very early in the morning. It's gonna warm up it, later. It's definitely for sure. better than Goliath with the Colossus, oh, yeah. um, with the Timbers, maybe. 
It's up there. It's good. It's up there with Outlaw Run, too. Mitch, your thoughts on Wildcats Revenge? It was really good. I, like, it's up there with, like, Joker, Discovery Kingdom. It's better than Untamed, for sure, at Wallaby Holland. Yeah. Ooh, that was really good. The sideways <laughs> airtime. Ooh, I'm gonna need more rides. I'll, I'll check back with you later. Okay, okay. Yeah. To be continued. One hour later. Five rides on Wildcats Revenge later. And... It is so good. This is like in my top for Brian Steve. Like I, I mean, I'm saying it's my number one coaster. I, I gotta look at my top 15 right now because I think this is in it. The air times were letless, like. And it gets better and better with every ride, honestly. Like the pacing is just so good. Like I'm going back and forth right now with like where that ranks in my RMC ranking. I rode one to the front, but like the back is definitely the place to be for this ride. It, it's just. I don't know. It's something else. And that thing's just warming up. Like, wait till like the afternoon time where yeah. it's like warmed up. Man, I don't think I could ever get tired of Storm Rider. It is so fun. It is short, but it is just so punchy. That little bit that you're on the ride is just so relentless. So, yeah, love Storm Rider. Yeah, yeah Storm Rider is really good. It's one of my favorite launch coasters. I don't think it's my favorite. I still think Mr. Breeze is better. Fair but enough. but this thing, it, it packs the punch. So much hang time moments. It's such a good launch. Like it's definitely a top five launch coaster for me, and it's definitely it's definitely top three in this park. Oh, Dark Nights. This is where the mime themed haunt was. I don't think I'll make it out to Dark Nights this year, but it is such a great event. And you know what? I, I gotta come in 2024 if I don't make it out this fall. Oh my gosh. It looks like we're in Tomorrowland at Disney. All right, got a little lunch from the Overlook. This is my first time at this restaurant. I don't know why I always pass it by, but it's here. But I got a bacon burger. I got vegan burger and fries. Very nice. Food. So I just finished a little Skyrush marathon. I got, what, uh, nine rides on Skyrush. Mitch got eight, Vert got 10, and he's still going. But this ride is insane, it is so intense. Oh my God, is that PMF coaster? Oh my gosh, it is. Wow, celebrities spotted at Hershey Park. You're never gonna be here to see a Hershey Park, you really don't. He's so famous. Wow. I, I am blessed to be in his presence. Absolutely. <laughs> Anyways, as I, as I was saying, this ride is just so intense. We even like challenged ourselves to ride the ride with our eyes closed, uh, no touching, like hands up the whole time. And it was just insane. Like that was so hard to do. But yeah, it was nice because the ride was pretty much a walk on and we could just re-ride over and over again. Now the weird thing though, is that at first we were able to stay in our seats if we wanted, maybe switch rows if we so desired, you know, as long as there's no one else in line for that row, we were good to stay. And then about halfway through our marathon, they're like, nope, you gotta go out, go around, go all the way around the fencing and go back in line. So that was a bit annoying and a bit weird, but I mean, I guess understandable, but at the same time, they left some empty rows by doing that. So whatever, we, we ended up getting a lot of rides. We, we really can't complain too much.
Okay, I am somewhat disappointed because every time I come to Hershey Park, I always want to ride the Kissing Tower, but it's either closed or, you know, I just end up prioritizing something else. And today, I thought, would, I thought it would be the day. I thought I would finally get on it because I did see it running earlier, so it was definitely open at some point, but by the time I got around to it, it's closed again. And I talked to the ride, like the maintenance people there, and they said that they weren't planning on opening it anytime soon. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I missed out on the kissing tower again, knowing me and knowing how much I love this park and how I always seem to end up here. <laughs> I know there's gonna be more opportunities in the future, but I think this is my note to self. I have to prioritize kissing tower next time. More than any of the coasters or anything else, we're gonna make kissing tower happen. Time it is. It is time to get a king size Hershey milkshake from Simply Chocolate. A stop that I simply cannot pass up whenever I visit Hershey Park. So last time I was here, I had the Wildcats Revenge Shake, which is really good. Like I had the maple flavored waffle and the bacon and the uh, licorice and all that. But I was also eyeing up the Reese's one, which I think is the one we're gonna go with this time. It looks, uh, looks pretty good. Okay, as is tradition when I go to the park, I got my king size shake. This one is the Reese's flavor. And of course it's got some Reese's peanut butter cups, a giant, I'm guessing is like a peanut butter and chocolate covered cookie or it's cake. It's usually cake or like a donut or something. Some chocolate sticks and then it's covered with like peanut butter kisses. It looks absolutely incredible. I can't wait to drink this.
Okay, this is really cool. They have some old retro merch. So this is from the Giant Wheel, which was their old double sky wheel that they used to have at the park. They have this shirt about Canyon River Rapids, the old River Rapids that operated here until 2008. And then this one from the Flying Falcon Ride. What'd you get, Burke? I got my Skyrush shirt. Very nice. And I think I'm gonna get a Wildcat Event sweater. Ooh, all right. Thanks for focusing on Haunted Winterfest. No, I think I have enough magnets from Hershey Park, but uh, that won't stop me from taking a look. So remember when I said I had enough Hershey Park magnets? I think that's a lie. This one's pretty cool. I think I have to make an exception for this one. Oh my god, the other one I'm really tempted to get is this Fahrenheit magnet that literally has a thermometer. That's so cool. That, that's some genius merch right there. Alrighty, so we finished off our night with... Well, I had two more rides on Wildcat's Revenge, including the last ride of the night, which was... I, I don't know, it was a perfect way to end the day. But overall, it's been a nearly perfect visit to Hershey Park. Like, most coasters have been a walk-on. Everything's been super nice. The weather has been beautiful. Like it's been sunny all day, but it also hasn't been sweltering hot. Like this might go down as one of my all time best theme park visits at one of my favorite parks, of course. So yeah, honestly, I couldn't ask for a better day. Burke, how was your day? My day was amazing. This, this park was absolutely dead. So I kind of took full advantage of that. Um, so like it, was, it got last Friday in the night on Wildcat. We got a whole bunch of Sky Rush. We got pretty much all the Intamans in, got all the big ones in. Like out of my three visits to this park, this was my favorite one. Cause it, and, and cause this park was dead. Uh, got to hang out with Parker and, Co and Mitch. Yes. The two legends of the Wonderland community. And, <laughs> the best of the best. Yeah, and yeah, so it was super fun and I, I had such a great time. Excellent time. Ooh, how do I look? Okay, uh, good. <laughs> no, it was a great day. It was like, the best day it was like a perfect blend of like sunny and not too busy and just everything was open well except for sky in the night All but right. like overall just it was like the best day finding vegan reese's just excellent and yeah love this park i wish they could pick it up and bring it to toronto i agree yeah. i wish we had her yeah. park in it's, a, it's one of my favorite parks it's a park i need to come back more Indeed. All right, well, that is going to do it for today's adventure. If you would like to see more adventures from theme parks, attractions, and beyond, including more from this trip, because uh, we're going to be heading off to Great Adventure next. Toro tomorrow! Yes! So you want to see us marathon, Toro, uh, King to Call, all the rest, and I mean, we need to get our Nitro credit as well. Oh, yeah, we need Nitro. <laughs> we got screwed last time. So that's but, all coming up. Yeah. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. You're going to love it. I can almost guarantee, if not, well, it's free, so you're not really losing out on anything. So you might as well try. You can also find me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Threads, and the app formerly known as Twitter as at ADV Parker. And you can find me on TikTok and Facebook at Adventures with Parker. As always, big shout out to my patrons for all the extra support you give the channel. You guys are amazing. And if you want to learn how you can support the channel for as little as a toonie a month, head on over to patreon.com slash ADV Parker. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, the adventures are calling. See ya. Thank you once again for watching. It's very kind of you. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands and feet. <laughs>